today we will be solving exercise 19 question number 1 which is given as simplify the first question is uh, x plus 2 times x plus 3 this is read in the way x plus 2 times x plus 3 now today I'll teach you how to solve this question now here in this question we need to multiply these two expressions the first expression is known as a binomial and this is also a binomial now here we need to multiply a binomial by a binomial and this multiplication here it will be done using the distributive property now here how to use the distributive property firstly the formula that will be used in dividing this one, multiplying this one will be these two x they will be written as x square after that the symbol of plus will be written then we need to see the two constant they are 2 plus 3 then again this x we need to write then plus whatever the constants are there we need to multiply them that is 2 multiplied by 3 and the final answer will be x square plus 2 plus 3 will be 5 x plus 6 this is the solution for the first question now similarly let me do for the next one number c suppose here it is given Thrice x plus twice y and the next one is given twice x plus thrice y. Now here you see, here you cannot use the formula which was used above because here in this case your expressions are not the same. Means the terms which are used in the expressions they are not similar. In the first case here it was x, here was also x means both these first terms they were x means they were similar or the same but here you see here the first one is thrice x here it is twice x here it is twice y here it is thrice y since they are different here so we need to solve it in a different way and that different way will be it is known as the multiplication of a binomial by a binomial how to use the distributive property here firstly you need to write this thrice x then you need to write this one that will be twice x plus thrice y then from this first expression you have written only this thrice x here you are left with this plus twice y so we need to write this plus twice y multiplied by twice x plus thrice y means the second expression you need to write twice in this way and this first one this thrice x plus twice y it is distributed to both of them then now you just need to do simple multiplication how this multiplication is done firstly we need to multiply this constant by this constant so 3 into 2 will be 6 x into x that will be x square plus into plus it will be plus 3 3's are 9 and x into y it will give me x y plus 2 2's are 4 y into x it is written as x y plus into plus will be plus 2 3's are 6 and y into y we will get y square now here the like terms these two are the like terms if you can see here they have the same variables with them so they are known as like terms so this will become 6x square plus we need to add the coefficient of these two this 9 plus 4 we will get 13xy plus 6y square let us solve another one um, let us solve the next one that is uh, suppose number f here in the book it is given twice a minus thrice b times thrice a minus b now how to solve this one for solving this again the same rule just as the above one we will be applying here this will be twice a minus thrice b times thrice a 
minus b. Now here, similar to the above one, firstly we will write this value that is twice a multiplied by this value thrice a minus b. Then the second one that is minus thrice b. Then again this second expression that is thrice a minus b. Now if we solve this, what we will get? 2 into 3, we will get 6. a into a will be a square. Here it is minus, we will get here minus 2. a into b will be a b. Then minus 3 b into 3 a. First multiply the coefficient. 3 3 are 9. b into a, we will get a b. Then minus multiplied by minus, it gives plus. 3, this will become 3 b square. Now once again we need to see the like terms. Again you see these two are the like terms. Then here this will become 6a square. Both the signs are same. Minus minus plus but the sign will be minus. Then 9 plus 2 will be 11ab plus twice b square. Now, this is how these questions are to be solved. Remaining questions you can try by yourself. Now, I will be solving question number 2 that is given simplify here, which is also a easy one, very easy one here. What happens? You see question number 2, let me do. Question number 2, let me solve for the first one. 2, 1, solution suppose. Now, here what to do? Here the question is given thrice x minus twice y times thrice x plus twice y. Now, here this type of question it is solved using the formula a plus b into a minus b now when the formula is a plus b into a minus b this is equal to a square minus b square now if we compare these two then in this case you see this number and this number they are the same and this one and this one they are the same just the sign in between that is opposite. One is negative, the other one is the positive. So in this case, we can use this formula. Then here, whatever there is before negative sign, that complete value gives us A. And after the negative sign, it gives me the complete value of B. So this is A minus B into A plus B. So A minus B into A plus B gives me A square minus B square. Then here in this case, my a is this complete thrice x. So this will be written as thrice x whole square minus twice y whole square. And now expanding this one, the square of 3 is 9. This will be x square minus the square of 2 is 4. And this will be again y square. So this is how this one is solved. Now, remaining all the questions, they are to be done in a similar way. Let me do number E. Here you see, this is x by 3 minus y upon 4 times x by 3 plus y upon 4. Now here, similarly it will also be solved, you see, this number and this is same and this one and this one is same. So here it becomes a minus b into a plus b. So this is equal to again a square minus b square. In this case, my a is x by 3. So, a square minus b square. This one, this will become x square by 9 minus y square by 16. So, this is how this is solved. Now, another one, that is question number 3. Here, if you remember, I told you to write some formulas on the very first day from this chapter. Some formulas were given and now using those formula we will be solving this one. You see. Suppose question number 3, number A. And that one solution. Here, the first question is given. Thrice x by 5 minus 5 by 3 and whole square. Now, if you remember, we have written one formula. A minus B whole square is equal to a square minus twice AB plus B square. Using this formula, we need to solve this question. Now here, how to solve? 
whatever there is written before the negative sign that will be my a and this will be my b now we need to replace using this so a minus b whole square gives me a square minus twice a b plus b square so here my a is try 6 by 5 so i need to write try 6 by 5 whole square then after that again from the formula it is minus then again we have to write a 2 then again i need to write a then here my a is try 6 by 5 then again i need to write b my b is 5 by 3 then after that i need to write plus b square so plus b square and now just solve it 3 square will be 9 x square by 5 square is 25 minus this 5 and this 5 will cancel this 3 and this 3 will cancel because this is multiply in between this multiply so now 2 into x that will be twice x plus 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9 so this will be your final answer for this question another one i'll be doing which is of plus that is question number f now question number f it is given question number f it is given twice x square plus thrice y whole square now here my a will be this one and here we have to use the formula a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus twice ab plus b square now here in this case my a is twice x square my b is thrice y means whatever there is complete before addition that is a this is my a and this is my b now here how to solve a square plus twice ab plus b square so let me take a square first of all i need to write my a my a is twice x square and after that in the formula it is given a square means the square of this one then plus twice a is twice x square b means thrice y then plus b square this bracket denotes that this square is for 3 also as well as y also this square is for both of them now the square of 2 is 4 the square of x square is square means x square into x square so this will give me x to the power 4 this will become x to the power 4 plus just simple multiply the coefficient 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 and here it will become x square y plus 3 square is 9 and this will become y square and this is the solution of question number 3f then similarly in this way you need to solve all the remaining questions of this question number 1 2 and 3 and after this the next questions 